All right, lads, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tom Harlock and I do not have an intro, but I do have a big appetite for massive messes. And today, I'm in the mood to binge. This is Fat Families. Watch out, Fat Families. It's time to get off your wobbly bums and melt that lard. <laughs> Airing for two seasons, somehow, from January 2010 to December of the same year, the concept of Fat Families is pretty simple. An eclectic stranger named Steve barges into the home of predominantly overweight people and proceeds to call them wobbly messes until they change their ways. Right up my street. These fatties haven't seen their feet for years. Well, prepare yourself, boys. The belly buster's in town. So, for today's video, I thought it would be a great idea to gorge on an episode of Fat Families and ask ourselves, did this need to exist? And do I need to host the reboot? <laughs> That's the worst. So today we're watching episode one, season one. Oh God, I think the fatties are coming to get me. <laughs> I'm in Telford, Shropshire, and I'm about to meet one of the fattest families I've met in my life. This trundling trio are grazing their way to an early grave. I mean, yeah, the lexical choices are a bit strong, but you can hardly sugarcoat his words. They'll end up snacking on them. <laughs> Watch out, massive fatties. The lard police are in town. Watch out, fatties. Specky Steve's here to bully you whilst wearing an ill-fitting suit. On day one, Steve is spending 24 hours with the fatties to find out exactly why they're so massive. You must be Jakey. Good morning. How you doing? Come in. Oh, you could have said hello to the little lad, you rude bastard. Jacob shows me to the garden to be introduced to Tanya husband Mike and her mum Ann for the very first time. Hello fatties. All right, Tom, leave the bullying to Steve, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you reckon I fell asleep watching this too many times as a baby and now that's why I'm a cut. Larger than life, Tanya tips the scales at a Titanic 33 stone. Tanya, with a hard art. Oh, it's brave, isn't it? I mean, 33 stone is pretty massive. For the American viewers out there, there's 14 pounds for every stone. So 33 stone. 462 pounds. Jesus, that is pretty big. 40 year old Mike clocks up 24 stone. 24 stone would be 336 pounds. I reckon you can lose that, mate. Just go for a walk or something. Skip breakfast, it's not hard. <laughs> Anne is 56 years old and a worrying 22 stone. 22 stone in pounds, about 308. I mean, yeah, it's big, but it's not Amberlynn Reed big. That's my only visual indicator of how much weight looks on a person. So if someone says they've dropped 200, I just think, all right, that's about Amber's thigh. I'm joking, all right? I am so joking. I don't want to start that issue again. I got cancelled by the French. No, that was. Couldn't possibly go to France ever again and eat sweaty frog legs. What a shame. If you've not seen my Amberlynn Reed video recently, go back to the comments and search by newest. The French despise me and the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I didn't deserve all this. Avec ma I don't even know what that means. These cuffs just love to be stuffed, but there's a special reason why Tanya weighs a ton. Bom, 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 bom. I didn't mean that. I mean, I did, but I didn't mean for you to see it. If I do look in the mirror, I like what I see. I can stand there naked and like what I see. All right, well, that is denial. We both know you're going to start crying in 10 minutes, so let's get the porky pies out the way before you stuff them down your front. I'm joking. I'm joking. I love my big body. You can say you love your body all you want, but you're on a weight loss TV show. You're not here to gain a few pounds, are you, big gal? Maybe I've got the wrong attitude. Perhaps I should take myself down to the butterfly lounge and find myself a big lady. Not that big. Oh, I didn't realise they were rebooting Saw. Do you want to play a game? Yeah, I do actually. It's called the treadmill. She loves her body so much she posts pictures of herself on the internet. I mean, a gal has to have a profile pic, doesn't she? I'm scared that I've crossed that line now where you've become not just fat, you've become one of them freakishly fat people. The type of people that you see in the beds on the television. And they've got too fat to get up. Yeah, those fat people you see on the TV that can't move. God, yeah, that'd be awful, wouldn't it? I like being fat. I've always said it. I love being fat. I like what I see in the mirror. But I'm not unrealistic. 
you know, you can be too fat to live. And I think I kind of crossed that line now. I do secretly agree with that, but I don't think I can say it on the internet without being battered. The family are planning a trip to Florida in 10 weeks' time. Does losing weight link to Florida in any way? Yes, absolutely. You want to lose weight to go to Florida? Darling, you're considered petite over in the States. How much weight do you want to lose then? A lot of it. I'd love to be under 30 stone before I went to Florida. I need right. to be up and moving a lot more than I am now. Well, fair enough. She's not a daft lass. She understands the logic behind a big bod. To me, it'd be nice to lose a couple of stone. Yeah, lose some weight so you can go on the theme park. And when we get on that plane, I can pull that tray down and eat my meals properly. Or eat more. Fair enough. I don't blame your aunt. Get the airplane scran in. Why not, eh? I need to see just what they are putting into their oversized bods. Tanya has got so big that she needs a mobility scooter just to get around. This particular aisle bit right there behind Michael is my problem. I mean, I think you're the problem and walking is the solution. I'll eat any one of those packets at once. And I can't help it. I mean, you could just not go down the aisle. Slam the brakes on, love. My head's crisps, chocolate. Biscuits. It's never ended. You must feel awful eating that shite all the time. Don't you ever just crave a little salad? Go on, I'll have a glass of water. It'll make you feel good. Apparently we're having a party, the Chris party this afternoon. Yeah. And you're not invited. Can you just let the last scanner shop in and do her job? I'm well, you'd see the streets coming, wouldn't you, with all I'm this? I know this is supposed to highlight their unhealthy choices, but all I can think about is how much that will goss. I haven't heard a single person mention any occupation, so I can only assume Tanya sells pics of her baps online. That woman is so fat, she can't even walk around the shop. She's actually trapped in a body of lard. They need to change, and they need to change now. Why do they need to change now? Is Tanya leaked? The Cuffs decide to take me for their favourite chow down at the local all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet. I'm not really into duck. I like duck, but I find it quite greasy. Well, you don't know what duck says about you, love. She said hardly no more. One plateful should be more than enough for anyone, but these guys are just getting started. Two plates down, I wonder how many more to go. Oh, God, what a beige nightmare. Will you have a dessert? Of course I will. <laughs> oh, an authentic Chinese dish of... <laughs> I really like it. Chalky Fountain. Maybe it's a fusion restaurant. With 2,000 calories in Chinese cuisine wolfed down, I am fit to pop. I wonder what's in store for me now. Probably more food, mate. They didn't get here through walking, did they? Ben! All right, bubs. Another packet of discos. Yeah. The big bag of 10. Yeah. That's the bag I want. Don't bring me a little individual bag. Bring me the big bag, babes. Okay. Business as usual. I'd take a big bag of shut your legs. Jesus, Tards. I can hear the sea and smell it. Joking. I'm fat phobic, not misogynistic or up. <laughs> he seems really well trained, your son. Of course he is. He lives in a fat family. I mean, what is the point of having kids if you're not going to make them do everything for you? Love? Affection? Nah, lads. This one. That's the very fellow. That's what we're now. And that's where they'll stay before they're gone. Oh, I won't be sucking on her salty disco slit. Give me a pack of cakes, darling. And then he wants a raspberry turnover, I might kill her one too. A raspberry turn? All right, well, they are extremely tasty, but have you tried turning over in general? Give me a spin and you get a bite. Cake after cake, in they go. But when bellies are full, the truth comes to light. Just eat and eat and eat. And I would say I've put on three stone over the last ten weeks. I don't know, it's, but maybe it's like a death wish thing. Oh, Anne, come here, gal. Come here, gal. <sighs> not the only one that tries, love. If I'm honest, I'd be gutted if my house was haunted too. Who's holding that spatula? I pop upstairs to see Tanya, whose obesity is so out of hand she now requires breathing apparatus to sleep at night. It was alright being fat and breathless, or fat with something else. Things are breaking down. Credit where credit's due. It can't be an easy life being a massive fatty. So I do take my hat off to you. What's going to happen soon if I'm not walking very far and things are hurting, so I'll stop walking. Too Frightened late. that it's all going to give up for a get there. Well, it depends where you're getting, love. Doesn't look like you're in a hurry. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> 
before. Oh, don't cry. I mean, it's probably worth it. You could shed a bit of weight in water, couldn't you? What a day. This family, they eat too much because they're bored. Well, no, they don't eat because they're bored. They eat because they want to eat and they're massive. So their stomachs have got bigger and their appetites have enlarged. It's not science. All right, maybe it is science. <laughs> but if I have to move mountains to help them, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, that's a nice sentiment, but I don't think it's polite calling them out in Stephen. I've spent a whole day with the cubs eating what they eat, masses, and doing what they do, nothing. But now it's time for this fat family to do things my way. After 24 hours observing the cuffs, it's time for Steve to dish out some reality. You, Tanya, you're a crispaholic, babe. I know. God, she's going to have to go to Snack and Anonymous. S.A. Oh, that means something different, actually. I'll shut my mouth. Eight bags of crisps a day. On a good day. I've... Yeah, I've done eight already today, yeah. Yeah, something has to give, love. Other than the back of that chair. If you want to remain a massive fatty, you will keep eating that. I am a little bit sat on the fence with this. And usually I scoot down to the pole. Because on one hand, yeah, it's nasty. But on the other, they signed up for this. I know certain steroids and illnesses, PCOS can make you big. But these people are just massive because they're eating. So I don't feel too bad they're getting this abuse. That's horrific logic. <laughs> Tom. If you were to sum up how you are at the moment, what would you say? Simply too fat to cope. Too fat to, to, to move forward. Oh, uh, well, Tanya said she loves her big bod, so she'll be all right. But I'm worried about Anne. I just care about Anne. I'm a lazy, fat cow. Um, Anne, don't you dare say those horrible things about yourself. That's my job. No energy, low self-esteem. Oh, Anne, you mean so much to me, big gal. I need to establish how much of their bodies is made up of fat. Steve is taking the crew for a medical MOT to find out exactly how pickled their insides are. Oh, it's a fancy new vape. Does it come in kiwi guava? The interesting thing is you're not morbidly obese. Really? Oh, well, that's good. You are super morbidly obese. OK. Well, that isn't. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be good coming. <sighs> oh, well, don't cry, love. You'll embarrass yourself on national TV. You will eat less, you will eat better, you will move more. Or you will stay fat and potentially die early. I mean, if it was that easy, they would have done it by now, but I get your sentiment, Steve. The cuffs have been dealt a devastating blow. Will they sink or swim? Well, fat is buoyant, so I'm gonna go with float. To aid the cuffs in making healthier choices, Steve has planned a visual representation of all the shite they've been scoffing. I've given them a choice of two tables, one full of healthy snacks and the other laden with the processed stuff they've been eating. All right, you don't need all those straws, do you? Think of the fucking turtle, son. That is the kind of stuff that you guys have been grazing on per week. Not per month, per week. I mean, yeah, the numbers on that table would decimate a Victorian child. If I could do one thing in this universe without repercussions, it would be give an uncontactable tribe a Lucas aid and just see what happens. And this is the stuff that I want to introduce moving Look forward. At all that. What do you want to do with this? Eat it. Bin it. Oh, well, just because these fatties can't enjoy it doesn't mean their kids can't gorge on a wagon wheel. <laughs> yeah, throw it all over the floor, make it inedible. I'll take it one step further and dump it outside a homeless shelter and then set it on fire. To encourage the cuffs to get off their asses, Steve has removed the sofas in their living room and replaced them with a treadmill. Gone from the room is one of the sofas, as well as Mike's favourite big boy lounger, something he regularly spent eight hours a day loafing in. Big boy lounger? I thought her name was Tanya. Oh, I'll be livid. You bring me back my sofa, you specky bastard. I'm not sure what they're going to make of this new look. Oh, bloody hell. Come on in, come on this in. This is a bit fab, isn't it? Yeah, love, so fab. It's now time for Steve to leave the cuffs to their own devices. But don't worry, he's keeping tabs via CCTV. I will be able to see exactly what you're up to 24-7. The way I'd go on that treadmill with nothing on, slapping my dong everywhere. So if you're sitting on that sofa, doing nothing, can't be bothered, 
full of excuses. I will see it. After I leave today, I'll be keeping an eye on their every move. It's state-of-the-art tracking devices and high-tech activity monitors. All right, Steve, they're not on tag. You could just wait about the end of the month and see if they've lost the weight, mate. You don't need to track them via closed-circuit television. <laughs> it's about getting on with it, thinking before you eat. There's only one thing we're all interested in. That is a result. A fat busting result. Well, this is gonna go down like Tanya after a WKD. I am completely exhausted. And those guys in there, they're probably really pleased to see the back of me, to be honest. That's all well and good, mate. But can you shut the door, Steve? The central eating's on. They've got to get their backsides off the sofa and they've really got to cut down on these big, fat, massive portions. And their big, fat heating bill, because you didn't shut the door. Shut the door! I've been following their progress on the CCTV I had installed and Tanya has lost one solitary pound. Time for some tough talking. All right, Steve, let's kick him into shape. What's happening? I wish I knew because we have been brilliant. All right, well, you're lying, but that's fine. I do all the time as well. It's evident from my data that you're actually not. Your target is to do one hour's uh, exercise a day and you're doing, on average, 38 minutes. Oh, no, no, no. Kiss my All right, big gal, no need to be so aggressive. I've worked my I'm on that because I'm in agony. You can kiss my I'll tell you because I'm, I'm, no, I'm not doing it. Mm, you're being unreasonable, Tanya. Sit your big ass back down and listen to the truth. I don't care if Tanya was angry with me. She can turn that anger into determination. Go on, fatties. You can do it. Sorry, I'm getting the bug, all right? It's not my words, it's Steve's. It's 10 weeks since I first met the Cuffs. I've sent them to a top London salon for a makeover that will complete their new look and lifestyle. Are we getting a makeover? I didn't realise we were getting a makeover. I'm absolutely buzzing. I head down to the salon to meet the family as they finish their makeovers. First up is Tanya. Honestly, I don't really care if you put on weight now, love. As long as you get low lights. Sonia Glamatos. <laughs> uh, if you're not seeing yourself here. No, no, I am so nervous. All right, well, she is looking at herself in the mirror behind you, but I appreciate the dramatic, so I'll let you off. This is your reveal. <gasps> oh, look at me! Babe, I love it. Do you feel you've shrunk a bit, love? I do, look at I've got a waist. Go on, Tarns. Could have given her contacts, but go on, Tarns. I am wearing a bra. That's a first for me in God knows how many years. Yeah. Um, and I managed this week to do one of my own shoelaces up. I'm buzzing for your love. Next through the door is Mike. I mean, you'd probably drop a stone shave in that back hair, lad. You can make a wick of Asuka, that. Here we go. Take a look at yourself, Michael. <laughs> How do you feel? You person. <laughs> Aww, you can go back to the valley's proudest punch mates. See Welsh. And finally Anne, who was so worried about her health, she believed an early exit was on the cards. You look gorgeous. I feel gorgeous. <sighs> Oh my lord, it's an unlock thing. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, Anne, but you look beautiful. You little matching blouse and glasses. I see you, you dirty little minx. And she's got the pearl necklace she deserves. I've kept them apart all day, but now they're reunited. Yeah. You look absolutely fabulous. You got a suit on, babe? Yeah. Then you look gorgeous. All right, well, you are on TV, love. Don't suck him off just yet. After all the effort of the last two and a half months, it's time for the family's final weigh in. Have the cuffs lost a stone or two? I hope so, because if not, this is all going to be for nothing. First on the scales is Anne, who 10 weeks ago weighed 22 stone. You now weigh 20 stones exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, go on, big Anne. You big ray of sunshine. Next to step forward is Mike, who weighed in at 24 stone. You now weigh exactly 22 stones. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. And finally, Tanya, who was a massive 33 stone. You now weigh 29 stones, <laughs> 7 pounds. Yay! Yes, let's go, Tanya, with the hard R. Tanya has surpassed all my expectations and shifted a mammoth 49 pounds. She's also shrunk two dress sizes. 49 pounds is a massive weight loss, Tanya. I'm thrilled to it, so I didn't want to let anyone down. I said three stone and I've been so worried. Well, I guess bullying works. I've got to admit, when I first met you just over two months ago, I was a little bit sceptical. 
I was wrong. Ah, oh, well done, fatties. I'm proud of you. Or should I say, former fatties. And on that chunky note, that's all the time I've got for today's video. But if you did enjoy it and you feel so inclined, you can leave me a like. Let me know your thoughts and feelings down below in the comment box. And if you want more videos from me, you can always click subscribe. Cheers for watching, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you boys next time. Bye! Uh, yeah, I'm not going to eat for a week. I'm just... <laughs>